Hey everybody, it's Donna. We're gonna talk about the buffalo today. So personally, I had a connection to the buffalo because I kept getting drawn to, um, especially these malas that were made out of buffalo bone. Um, and I also have another bone that has some feathers on it that I, I got from this woman. And I was kind of concerned because I don't usually buy things that have bone in it and I felt ethically like I was not really, I just, I just had a problem. I had to really ask a lot of questions about the buffalo. So once I did, one of the vendors was telling me about the buffalo in Nepal. He was from Nepal and the buffalo is used for every single piece of the buffalo. So the bones are actually, actually recycled into all these different things for the people to use them. So the buffalo is a symbol of abundance because the meat lasts for a really long time and they use every single aspect. They don't let one thing go to waste on the buffalo. So that made me feel a little better that the, um, I feel like I'm honoring the buffalo <laughs> now that I'm wearing the um, mala beads. But we're gonna talk about the card of the buffalo. So beautiful. And so it's the number 10. So again, if you're like me, uh, the number 10 means something to you. And it's also a numerology. You always wanna break it down to the single digits. Um, sometimes there's double digits, but in this case it would be one. And um, in numerology, I'm the life of one. So that's um, being a leader and taking control and being very independent. So um, I could see that being the buffalo. Cause they, travel really long distances, they're very hardy, and they, um, they're just a really solid, strong animal. So the idea of the buffalo is not only abundance in the form of monetary and money, but it's understanding that abundance is around you at all times. So it's understanding that when you're asking and praying for abundance and worrying about money and money's, you know, you wanna see money coming in and you're asking for abundance, it may not be in the form of money, but it might be in the form of you meet all these new people or you have all these new leads in your business and just pay attention to all the other things that are showing up that are abundance for you. And that's definitely happening in my life. And I've been getting a ton of ideas of abundance. And this morning I had an amazing morning with the bluebirds in my yard and there were two that were closest to the window and it was a male and female and they're just so beautiful. And I know that they're a symbol of happiness. And so it's just, you know, different ways to pay attention to signs that, you know, you make your own happiness and you bring the abundance into yourself and catching yourself when you're having those days of living in lack, especially if you were brought up in a household that didn't have a lot of money or the idea of money was tainted and it's almost like you against the money or I have to worry about money because I don't know, even though I'm secure right now, something's gonna happen. So it's an, a balance of being safe and being secure and being smart with your money, but it's also about not living in the idea of lack and fear of money. Um, and to understand abundance is showing up for you all the time in different ways. So just pay attention to, if you're putting the, that energy out there and you're putting those prayers out there, trust that the universe and God is gonna give you that abundance that you're asking for, but pay attention to all the little ways your prayers are getting answered. So it may not be the lottery ticket that's winning, but you may, again, you may just meet all these people or it may be things. For me, seeing those birds, I get really inspired and it helps me and all the other things I'm gonna do that day with my own business. So it's one small thing and it's so simple and everyone may have seen the bird themselves, And but for me, I use that energy into a shift of my own energy and inspiration. So try to pay attention to all little ways and you can even write them down at the end of the day, little ways that you're seeing abundance in your life and even thinking about the idea of I prayed for these things and now I have them. So that's a really great way to kind of check back in with, look how far I've come. When I got um, my wine runner, um, he's now passed, but um, I bought his crate probably a year and a half before I got the dog. Um, so it was just knowing, like I was sending that out to the universe and I was still just thinking about it and I'm, I just knew I was gonna crate train and. So it was like, that was a symbol for me that I was gonna get this dog that I had wanted for, for years, um, this breed. But it's little things like that. Like, so maybe you can give yourself little things that remind you of abundance, little symbols. Maybe it's a word, maybe it's a color, maybe it's something that you manifested to prove that the energy is so strong to manifest, so make it positive and pay attention to your thoughts. Stay in 
the positive thinking because if you're going to manifest in abundance you want it to be abundance of positive and good so try to shift your energy from fear and lack and move it into the state of positive so again here's a little buffalo he's so cute I just love him and the feathers actually look like the feathers that are on the other um, buffalo bone I have but I just I just really love the buffalo energy anyway um, just checking in and giving you some information on the buffalo hopefully you can use this information and try to pay attention to what is coming up for abundance for you right now and again make lists um, gratitude journals are amazing and just at the end of the day just writing at least three things you're grateful for for what happened dur during the day or that you remembered even if it's just every song in the radio every time I get into my car it was a song I loved um, I mean that can really make you you know shift your mood and make you in a good mood so Maybe that was something that happened to you today. So try some of these little ways to, to connect to that positive, abundant energy and let me know how it's going. I'll see you later. Have a great night.